welcome to my channel. So today I've got a bit of a mini mini haul kind of unboxing from Fortnum and Mason, which is like a luxury department store in London. I think they're based kind of Piccadilly way. And I think they've got a couple of other stores as well. Uh, I think there's one in Hong Kong and there's a small one in Heathrow Airport in London as well. Uh, but the main one is actually based in Piccadilly, it's huge. And I think it was set up back in 1707 by William Fortnum and I think Hugh Mason and they got together and set this up and it's been running ever since and to give you a bit of an idea they have multiple level department store you can get what, what they're well known for is hampers um, also you can get biscuits you can get chocolates a variety of different teas um, if you're into that kind of thing as well um, but when I've been there I've either had afternoon tea there in their um, Diamond Jubilee salon which is where their afternoon and high teas are set um, and also I've over the years ordered many hampers from there I'll put some images of some of the kind of well-known hampers um, on screen and I'll put details of Fortnum Mason in the description bar below but I definitely recommend them I've been going for years it's a great kind of funky place to go to. Um, it can be quite touristy, especially at the weekends, um, but it, it's they do really great things. Um, so I've just got a few items and a gift to one of my friends as well. So I got that shipped over from New Zealand, uh, or to New Zealand. So um, yeah, I thought I'd kind of um, go through them with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unbox them. Um, hopefully they've survived the journey from the UK to New Zealand. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but um, hopefully lots of padding. So we'll just open them up now. So just to give you an idea, so this is just kind of the Fortner and Mason um, logo. Oh yeah, established in 1707. Um, also it has these appointments on. Basically it's the appointment of um, the Queen and the appointment of Prince Charles. Um, that basically means, um, I think it's the Royal Warrant of Appointment. That means that the Queen and um, the Prince of Wales uh, shop there and it's like a, an acknowledgement really and not all stores in the UK have this, it's specific to um, the Queen actually going to, I mean I'm, I'm sure she's not there with her trolley pushing it around, um, but her staff basically uh, purchase items from there so they actually are used by the royal family and that's what this um, warrant, royal warrant of appointment actually means and you can't actually use these images um, on stores unless they've been approved so it's pretty cool so I'll just try and get into it bit of a big box just see Start again with that. <laughs> this time, um, I won't drop it. Let's get so, a couple of things. Just information from Fortner and Mason. And yeah, I think. So you can actually, um, <laughs> when I ordered this, so there's a selection of things that I ordered for myself, but also for a, a gift as well for one of my friends. But you can actually put in a little note um, for the delivery um, that actually has the embossed um, warrant of appointment. Um, so I just put this on, I don't know if you can see. It basically just says Fortnum and Mason. The note is because I just love Fortnum and Mason food, which is that in a nutshell. So even though I live in New Zealand, it's still great that I can get things shipped over here from the UK that I like. So it's a nice little little kind of thing. Um, so, lots of packing. This is one thing I got. So it's the Fortnum Biscuit Selection. Um, and it's got on the back, so it's got chocolate pearl, lemon curd, stem ginger, fruit and nut, salted caramel and macadamia nuts. So just over there. I'll put some information on the screen about this one. Um, I think from memory, let me just check actually how much I paid. So bear with me. I 
think this one was about 18 pounds and it's a nice little kind of tin as well that you can kind of keep for other things which is nice and it's just a pretty design as well so um that's that's for me <laughs> won't last very long uh let's see what else pretty well wrapped uh so this is pistachio and clotted cream biscuits again if you can see so it's 250 grams and the this selection was 600 grams and yeah I've had these before when I was living in the UK so I just thought I'd kind of treat myself and again in a nice tin um, you can kind of reuse it for something because clearly the biscuits aren't going to last that long um, then I don't know if there's anything else in here I think it's all yeah, it's all just packing. But I think I'll just check what I paid for the pistachio and clotted cream. What did I pay for that? So these were 12, 12 pounds 95, um, which is pretty good. You get quite a lot. Yeah, so as long as you store in a, a dry place, it's airtight, so it's pretty good. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just, oh dear, hopefully not drop this one. So this is, again, all well packaged. Um, let's open this. Ooh, like to open. So this is, this is actually um, a gift uh, for one of my friends and it's survived the journey, it looks. Famous last words. So this is just a, uh, one of their, you can have hampers, but they also do gift boxes as well, which is kind of magnetized. But it's a really lovely box. This, I think, now what was it called? It was the Tea Time gift box, um, which was about, I think, £25. Um, but because I got them shipped over from the UK, you pay um, to get to New Zealand about another £40 in shipping, which is quite high. So if you are going to really go crazy, you should kind of get whatever you want from Fortnum, just to cover the kind of like costs that you're paying to actually bring it over to New Zealand. Um, but they ship all over the world. Um, and obviously New Zealand's quite far away from the UK. And it, it got here in a timely fashion. A um, Couple of issues with customs, but they just wanted to check what was in uh, the boxes and stuff, which is pretty normal over here. Um, but yeah, so this is a nice little gift box. Um, hopefully my friend's not watching. So um, and by the time this goes out, she would have already have had it anyway, um, but gives you a bit of an idea. So if you can see just there, so there's the Royal Blend uh, tea, which is in a nice tin, and then also some chocolate pearl biscuits, which looks to be 200 grams, um, and wrapped up very nicely in the back. I'll just kind of slowly pull it out. Oh is um, Fortnum & Mason Summer Glory Preserve. So just there. Again, I'll put details and, and images on screen. Um, and also for this particular um, gift box, the information in the description bar below. Um, as well as really like amazing jams, they do their own honey. And actually on the rooftop of Piccadilly store, they have their own beehives. So they sell, um, and actually on each of the, um, bottles of honey you can tell which batch you've got and obviously there's a limited amount um, but I think they've been doing that for quite a while um, there's various things that have changed recently like just being more sustainable with like plastics and, and things like that but one thing they have done for quite a while is the, the bees on the rooftop so you can actually get the honey there um, and obviously the bees have come from the surrounding area of Piccadilly which is pretty cool um, and it, it's quite popular as well with tourists they often like purchasing those things. So you don't just need to get kind of marmalades and jams, you can actually get their own honey. Um, if you're interested in other honey and, and bee kind of information, I've recently uploaded another video and that's to do with Manuka honey that we have in New Zealand, uh, a bit of a wellness lab vlog that I did. So I'll link that in the description bar and also I'll put um, a card up at the top as well. So you can actually um, check that out if you want to. But yeah, I'm really happy with the Everything's got here fine, there's no damage. Um, it's a really lovely box and, and hopefully my friend will love it. 
Um, I know she's into these kind of things anyway. So I thought I'd um, actually unwrap these so you can kind of see what they look like, um, especially if you've never had Fortnum Mason kind of confectionery. So if you can see that, little trays, and it's got one lot in here, and then there's also another lot also sealed separately, which is, which is cool. It saves me opening one and then not just having actually one biscuit and eating the whole lot. So yeah, it gives you a bit of an idea of the size. So in a comparison, so that's kind of the lid, a bit of an idea, so they're decent um, thickness, but they are, are obviously are quite little, so mm, you can smell the, smell the pistachio. Mm. Mm. Lots of pistachio in them, and if you don't know what clotted cream is, it's quite well known in the UK especially when you have afternoon tea. Um, you can get really amazing Cornish um, cottage cream. You can spread it a bit like butter, but it's really sweet. Well, I, I usually put quite a lot of jam with my cottage creams when I have scones or scones, depending on what you want to call it. Um, but you can definitely tell uh, the taste of the cookie with the clotted cream in. It's like an aftertaste, but the, the primary, um, kind of colour, you can see a lot of the green pistachio inside, um, but they're really nice, really Moorish as well. Uh, mm, a cross between a biscuit and kind of like a shortbread, um, mm, really nice. So before I have any more, let's open, let's open the other one. So just to recap again, it had the six different um, types of biscuit. So it's also got a bit of a seal on. So if you just have a look. So the whole tin does come off. Just the inside and it's got a nice kind of protection on it. Again, good for um, going overseas. <laughs> and I think it's also got two different levels as well. Let's see if I can take it out. So you've kind of got the first tray, like so. And then also the second tray inside, which is separately sealed, which again may stop me from eating the entirety of the biscuit selection pretty much in a weekend but you know jury's out on that one I'd say Let's see if we can open okay that's cool I've slightly damaged it a little bit on the packaging so yeah if you can kind of see the back a bit of Fort number Mason and then these are the flavours so let me just double check which one's which. If we look on the back, so you've got the chocolate pearl, I think that's lemon curd, stem ginger, I think that's macadamia nut. Is that macadamia nut? Oh, that looks like macadamia nut. That's definitely the fruit and nut. That might be stem ginger, and I think that might be salted caramel. But again, they're good sizes. Obviously, these are bigger. To give you an idea of the size comparison, that's the selection box size, and that's the um, tube of biscuit size. So there is quite a big difference. But actually, there's not a huge difference in the, the cost. So it's actually probably better for you to get the selection and then you can get, get to try all different flavours. This selection doesn't have the pistachio and clotted cream in it though, just as a, just to kind of clarify. Um, 
yeah, I might actually try the salted. Yeah, this is definitely the salted caramel. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, look, they're really sweet and salty. Mmm. A bit denser and not as um, light, I would say, in texture compared to the pistachio and um, clotted cream. But really Moorish. Oh my gosh, these aren't going to last long. But I thought I'd open them up to give you an idea of actually what they look like in the size, because certainly if you're not in the UK um, and you want to actually get some from overseas, it gives you an idea of really the size of them, kind of what you're getting, how it's packaged. So I'm really happy with the purchases. Uh, yeah, so just to go over it, this is the um, Tea Time gift box um, that's got strawberry preserve, um, loose leaf tea, and some chocolate pearl biscuits. And then for me, my little treats are the pistachio clotty cream biscuits, and they were the 250 gram. And then also the uh, biscuit selection, uh, which has six different types in, um, which, yeah, great. Can't wait to um, open these, to be honest. Uh, let me know um, in the comments below what you think and if you've got a favourite or, or whether you've been to Fort Drum Mason before and there's any particular biscuits or any things that you really like. Um, and also let me know if anyone's been to the afternoon tea or high tea recently. Um, obviously, when everyone's kind of out of restrictions and things, uh, but it'd be good to know whether it's kind of changed up much. I think when I went, it was about £60 uh, for the afternoon tea. And I think high tea, which is a bit more substantial, is more like £68 or £70. So um, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. That basically means you know when my next video gets uploaded. Um, and comment down below what you think about Fortnum Mason and if you've been as well. Um, and any favourite things that you like there as well. But um, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.